Hi everybody, this is Matt. Thanks for watching and welcome back. Well, people who have the new Gen 4 Glocks sometimes want to install different back straps and Glock will provide them. They'll provide standard back straps which uh, we can put on to add thickness to adjust for our hands and they'll also give us a couple of beaver tail ones in order to help prevent slide bite. Slide bite is when I get a good grip on here I get a bunch of flesh right behind the slide. When this reciprocates back generally I end up with slide bite which means I get cut. But you want to have your hand up in a high position in order to be able to control recoil more effectively. However putting these beaver tails on can be a real pain and let me try to show you some of the pain points. Now when you got your Glock you received this tool and it had the beaver tails in there. What you might not have noticed is this. This pin is extra long which allows I can get it out of there. Yep. It allows it to span all the way across which is very important. Your standard pin is not going to let you do that. So now here's where things get to be fun or really not fun. I'm going to push out the old pin which is very easy to do and now I'm going to need to put the back strap in, get this notch seated properly and then wrestle around with this guy. And as you're going to see it's not exactly the easiest to get aligned because you can get it pushed up in here and you want to try to work this guy into place and you notice the gaps. It means that the holes don't line up right. This obviously isn't sitting the way that it should so I'm going to push up, I'm going to apply pressure and I'm going to wiggle this around and finally you heard the click. So that means that it is seated. Does it mean everything's right as rain? No. Because right here I'll throw this down here and hopefully you can see it. If you notice there's a gap that exists here and the holes don't line up properly. So to attempt to remedy that what I will do is I will take this and I'm going to come in and use this to align the holes and get it to push all the way through. And at that point you might say hey I'm good to go. Well <laughs> I wish. This is where you get really deceived and this is where a lot of people just frankly get ticked off and they say fooey on it or whatever. So we think that we have everything lined up and that's all well and good. Problem is when I go to put this pin in it clearly is not a happy camper because it's not going in. The holes are misaligned which means then that I need to apply pressure in order to get this to work and that's where things get kind of dicey so I have to apply a lot of pressure and then try to coax this guy in and yeah that's legitimate shaking that's how much force I'm applying on this because it's in a weird position so now I'm going to curl in with my thumb I'm going to use this tool and try to have it help me as I wiggle this around and hope and pray that I can find where I'm supposed to go now I felt it move a little bit. That's a good sign. So I'm going to go ahead push this down. Now are we home free yet? No. And the reason is we're going to run into the same problem over here. At the moment this looks pretty flush. But I can tell you from experience that the moment that I start to try to push this pin in it's going to get cranky and it's going to not line up and it's going to begin pushing this out. So what's the workaround you might ask? I found that I actually need to support the gun which I'll take uh, take this and I'm going to support the gun I'm going to apply pressure on it while I'm pushing down on that pin so I'm applying a little bit of a twisting motion and I'm going to feel for the pin 
And did we make much progress? Frankly, no. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. And again, you could hear that. We went just a skosh farther, which that part of it's good. We'll see if we can't coax it a little bit more. Doing a little twisting and pushing and try to make it so this does not begin to push out, which I can already see that it's doing that. It's not doing it on this side. This side is flush, so it means that we are dealing with an alignment error. The only way that I've been able to overcome this is literally by brute force, which normally I don't really like to do with a firearm. So in order to attempt it, you can come in here with one of these back straps, do a little twisting motion, And you hear that, hear things jump around. This part's looking better, but guess what? That part is not. So this is where we go, hmm, yeah, we've got a problem. And this is what frustrates the ever-living daylights out of people. Because this isn't right. At some point, you're going to hit a point of failure, and then all bets are off after that. And I know I'm already six minutes into this video, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I'm going to go ahead, push, twist yet again some more, come down here with a tool, try to support this pin, and I'm doing this by feel, and I'm going to have to try yet again to do it. And we're almost there. Okay, notice now that this is smooth. I can begin to see this is starting to pass through. So hopefully we're almost there now. I'm going to try to finish this out by just coming in here and giving it a little bit of a push. That went pretty easy. And now I can see it's starting to go through the other side. Give it just a little bit more of a push. And now it's coming out the other side. So you see, this is frustrating for a lot of people. So we're coming back through here and look, we're getting the same deformation right here. So now what does that mean folks? It means we have to go through this wonderful process yet again, which means twisting, pushing, and bumping the camera in the process. Sorry about that. We are almost there. Tap. Okay, pretty well smoothed out. Now, here's where I'm going to just try to ease it a little bit. I'm going to give a couple quick love taps, very lightly. Make sure I have equal distance here and here. And finally, the back strap is on, and you can go ahead and get as much of a grip there as you want, and you're not going to get slide bit. But nearly nine minutes to get this, I can understand your pain, I understand your frustration. Hopefully, this helps you out a little bit. Until next time, everybody, be safe out there, and have a good one.